<sighs> okay, Mr. Christian, let's uh, deliberate. Okay, well, firstly, uh, I am honest. You certainly have not been honest, you know. I've got a longer history. I've been on on the internet since, since about 2000. 2000. You've been online for only, what, six months now? Six months. i got a lot more history than you do, and everybody can verify that I am the real creator. So there. And I am kind. I'm good-hearted. And you've proved, you've shown yourself to be not so kind. I mean, you don't even care. I mean, like, you know... Yeah, sure. I mean, like, you know, I look, I did listen to your video. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, yeah, I could have gone a little further with Casey in the romantic way, but she had feelings for you, and I respected that as such. And I seriously, if she, if she wanted to, I would have gladly, I would have gladly gone further with that, but she, she did not want that, and I respected her wish of that, because, because I care about her. I am caring. And obviously you have it because, you know what? She made you promise to stop your game and make and make no more videos, but yet you're going to make this one. You broke your promise. I would not break my promise. It's like, you know, for another game of mine, like, you know, especially this goes along with me being, yeah, trustworthy and loyal because I just went on my goose chase because I thought a gal of mine, yeah, she was uh, pretty much lonely at the time and, and you know, I thought, and like, now she called me, like, you know, she wanted me to come over and hang with her for a while. And so I just killed, tw killed about 20 miles round trip worth of gas to go, to go find her house. But it turns out that was a troll posing as that girl. <sighs> the voices sounded nearly sane. <sighs> and plus, I was under stress because I was starting work against, in the response to your video for your girlfriend, who is a gal, who is a good gal pal, who is a true good gal pal of mine that I always care of. Just like the other gal pal, I would finally, I mean, not, you know, I thought I was actually doing it for her, but it turned out to be a troll. But anyway, ah, going on for that, uh, you know, I am intelligent. I can be fun. I'm fairly good looking with, without the glasses. I need these glasses because I'm nearsighted. Why are you, I mean, like, you know, I don't even know what your vision problem is. But whatever to each is out. Is our own own. And, yeah, I'm thoughtful. I was thinking deliberately about what to say in this video in response for... Yeah, I may as well say her name. For Casey, okay? For Casey. Because I cared. She asked me to, and so I am doing it. Right? I'm helpful whenever I can, you know? Whenever I can, I can help. You know, I help with the best of my ability. I can't help. Uh, then I then I'll admit that, but then I would try my best to see if I could find offer help. And I am generous because you know I would give I give myself to my friends whenever necessary. I am, I can be cheerful. I can be cheerful, easygoing. I am a good listener because otherwise I would have understood that part of the video in the beginning. After yeah, you know, again, you know, yeah, you, know, you said that like you know, yeah. In the beginning of the video, you said that you, th you called me pretty much a sap for like, you know, let, for like, pretty much letting her go so she can go back to you. And you know what? Yeah, you're lucky because, you know, you've got her. You shouldn't have betrayed her. You, pro you should not have betrayed her by breaking your promise. And I am empathetic slash sympathetic. You know, if I've actually experienced that similar situation before, I can. I am empathetic about that. Otherwise, you know, I'm sympathetic. And I am interesting. I've got broad of emotion and everything. I'm patient. I am upfront. Upfront and clear when I set my mind to it. And I'm fairly popular. And you know what? Here's a few adjectives for you. Because you have pretty much shown yourself to be these aggressive, argumentative, rude, unfeeling, uncaring, selfish, a liar. You are a liar, and you're immature, and you sound like you can be an abusive type. I mean, you've gone and left the girl for over a month in an attempt to try to find me. <sighs> and I remember these adjectives, you know why? Because I've been taking a relationship management class, so I had to be able to take home my little notes, so I know. So I so better, so better maybe sort out the list. 
so that I can make this video for her and in response to you. Oh, you know, I'll just go ahead and say this. You know, a few a few qualities are like, you know, I'm, I find it fairly easy to make new friends whenever I set my mind to it. I'm not shy. I'm fairly good at talking to people. I fairly much know what to say to most people. I like making people laugh. Seriously. What's happened sometime? I'm talking like a... I am the good listener. Sometimes I say it out of conflict because I do not share like to deal with it, but when I have to, I will. I am trustworthy. I'm reliable. I'm good at making decisions. And, yeah, but with the conflict, I can get angry, but I try to control my temper. I control my temper. I have a good side of doing it. I am not lonely. I have a good number of friends. I can chat someone up again when I actually have the topics in my mind and my mind sits to it. I can keep secrets. You obviously could not keep a secret because you pretty much said a few secrets she entrusted to you in that video. Hmm. You cannot keep a secret. I find it difficult to tell how someone is feeling some... I mean, no, I do not. Sorry. I do not find it difficult to tell how, how someone is feeling. I mean, yeah, sometimes... sometimes I'm slow in the thinking process, but a bunch of times I get right off the bat. Okay? And I like sharing my honest feelings with other people because they're good feelings most of the time. And more importantly, they are true and honest feelings. So there. This is my only response to you, so you better make you better renew that promise. And no more videos. And we and everybody on the internet knows. I am the original Christian Weston Chandler that, with the birth name of Christopher that creates Archie and Rose Chew. You've only been online for only six months. I've been around since 2000. I've been online since 2000. Even before 2000, I had a CWC Pokey site. And when the Pokey site too was up before the year 2000. Definitely. So there. Okay? And in case, again, I do care about you very much. If I could go beyond, if you if you wished, if you would have just said so in the first place, I would have been, I would have been happy to pursue to up our friendship level to a, to a relationship. But you still have feelings for your Chris, yes, yeah, for him, and I respected that because I care, I care, okay. If you, uh, I mean, and I and I appreciate the fact that you did start to fall for me. Uh, I did understand. Uh, I listened to and I understood every word that he said in that part of the video. Obviously, well, yeah, I did kind of miss it the first time around, but I caught it. I caught it the second time. When I set my mind to it, it's, I mean, when I'm uh, to a trustworthy person, I am very... I mean, okay, well, okay, it's a bad wording. But most of the time, I am the good listener. And most of, and most of the time, I can count on the hidden things messages fairly quick but sometimes I am a little slow you have to be patient with me but think about this I am patient with most everybody okay so I'll leave y'all with that have a good day